Seeking Enlightenment, posted on January 8, 2012. I call this the age of awakening because it's very evident that a lot of people are ready to wake up from unconscious living, to move into a new way of living, which can be called conscious living or aligned living or enlightened living. The labels don't matter as long as they help as pointers. The term enlightenment gets thrown around so much that it's easy to lose an understanding of what it really means. It's possible that seeking alignment can itself become an identity in you that you get identified with and hence keep yourself anchored in it, thus defeating the very purpose of the seeking, which was to take you to a place of freedom. Most people who are seeking enlightenment have an idea that the culmination of this process would result in them reaching a place of wholeness. But this wholeness can only be truly known when one gets there. Till then, your mind can have umpteen amounts of imaginations and fantasies about what this wholeness is all about. The truth is that this wholeness is nothing like what you imagine it to be. It's way more ordinary than your mind can ever imagine. It's a place where you are in balance, where you are clear-minded, in a stability, when you no longer in resistance, neither are you in, obs- in an obsessive identification with any dimensions in your mind, discussed in the post, Six Dimensions of the Mind. Finally, it's just a state of truly allowing your natural way of being as this human form that you are. This how you start living out your natural expression, living in tune with who you are, and this is what makes you feel whole. This is what enlightened living is all about. Any extraordinary state of bliss that you experience is basically just that, an extraordinary state of bliss. It's just an experience. It's not what wholeness is about. Wholeness, as defined by the very term, means that it encompasses everything without rejecting anything. This is what true wholeness is, is, but when you start seeking bliss, you are already rejecting the sadness, so there is very little hope that you will enter the wholeness through such a seeking. Seeking mystical experiences, transinducing meditations, faith systems, spiritual intoxication can all be great experiences, but none of this has anything to do with being enlightened about your natural expression, and hence they just become thrill-inducing mechanisms, no different from drugs, that basically just keep you in a place of seeking experiences rather than getting to a place of alignment with yourself. Until you are aligned with your physical self, you are not going to feel whole, and the only way you can get aligned with your physical nature is by understanding it first and then moving into alignment with it in a conscious way. Be clear about what enlightenment really means. Enlightenment simply means to have the right understanding that's required for you to finally let go of all the incongruent movements in you and come into an alignment with your natural expression in your physical life, thus aligning with your life stream. Conscious living or enlightened living just means to be living in alignment with your life stream. Your life stream is unique to you, so you need to align with your own uniqueness in order to align with your life stream. So you cannot try to copy someone else and live to reach a place and hope to reach a place of alignment or enlightened living. To have an understanding of your non-physical nature as this life energy is only so that you can bring an unconditional awareness to your mind as it is instead of forcing it to be otherwise. This is the beginning of conscious living because now you are finally willing to align with all the dimensions in your mind and thus move towards living out your natural expression as this human being that you are presently. In a simple sense, your mind needs to align with itself, with all its dimensions, so that it can allow its natural expression to unfold. The only organ in you that needs understanding is your brain-mind. Nothing else needs any understanding. Your heart does not want to understand anything. Your liver and your lungs are not asking any questions. Your eyes or ears don't want any understanding. 
The only organ in you that wants understanding is your brain. So basically, it's the brain that starts seeking enlightenment in its quest to understand this realm of physical existence, mostly because it feels fearful, confused, and almost terrified by the very prospect of handling life. It just wants to know what's the way to be free of suffering, how to live a good life, how to be free of this stagnation, how to be free of all this emotional pain, how to be clear-minded. These are the questions which drive the brain to start seeking enlightenment or the quest for knowing the truth of life. Since it's the brain that started the seeking, it's only the brain that can come to an end of the seeking, and the only way it can ever come to an end of the seeking is when it gets the right answers, the right understanding. However, it's very easy for the brain to become misled, especially due to misunderstanding pointers, but mostly because of its own unwillingness to really keep an open mind and try to understand life scientifically instead of just getting into a cult or religion or belief system or guru worship or some meditation technique or some mystical pursuits. All these can just become distractions and sleepovers and keep you from really living your natural expression. Are you willing to align with yourself as you really are? In the end, the real question is, do you want to keep running away from yourself? Or have you reached a point where you are willing to face up to who you really are, irrespective of what the consequences may be? Rest assured that when you align with yourself, the consequences are truly positive and aligned with well-being. But it can be a challenge initially to let go of incongruent realities, of incongruent identities and beliefs, which stand in your way to total alignment. You can use escapist techniques, and a lot of spirituality can help keep you engrossed in several escapist techniques, no different from being addicted to, to a drug. To keep from facing this challenge, but sooner or later you will know that there is no getting away from yourself. The sooner you realize, the better. When I talk to someone who is seeking a solution to their life, it's easy to see that basically the only reason they reach the place of suffering is because they are either overly obsessed with one dimension in their mind or they are suppressing a certain dimension or dimensions in the mind. It's always that simple. And once this person is made to realize the ways in which they are suppressing certain dimensions in their mind or the ways in which they are obsessing with a certain dimension being unconsciously lost in it, they get enlightened about what's really going wrong. This enlightenment is enough to start the journey back to a balance. It will still take some time before attaining this balance, but to know the problem clearly ensures that you will no longer be beating around the bush or living in denial, which ensures a swifter, quicker movement towards this balanced state of being, which allows for your natural expression to unfold smoothly, allows for well-being and an inner wholeness.